Hey guys, so um, this week, I know, please ignore my gigantic forehead in this because I just got back from the museum. My bun is also crooked, which is gonna drive me nuts. But this week, I've been just a little bit stressed, so I had no clue what I was going to film this week. Um, Cause I still wanna uphold, I'm probably gonna say this every week, but I wanna uphold the fact that I want to at least post something, anything every Sunday so even if it's gonna be like two minutes long which I honestly thought this was gonna be like a two minute video of me talking about why I didn't have anything prepared this week <laughs> but I actually just got back from the Seattle Asian Art Museum really really cool if you're in Seattle I highly recommend you check it out I thought it was really cool um, I originally went for like the Korean pieces but I got to see like a lot of other East Asian artifacts and like statues and shit I don't know I'm not a very big like museum slash history slash person which I should be I actually really really enjoyed going today and I think this video is just gonna be like talking about what my um, shift in focus is gonna be which I have a meeting here in like 40 minutes and I also need to eat because it's like 12 12 something it's almost 12 30 but I haven't eaten yet because as soon as I woke up I did my morning pages and then I went to the museum and now here I am but I wanted to like do this little introduction before because I'm probably gonna forget it later uh, so I took like a crap ton of pictures and uh, some videos unfortunately I do regret not taking my camera I didn't want to be that awkward person with the camera but literally everyone had a camera there so next time I will bring my camera because what's the point of YouTubing if I'm not gonna bring my camera everywhere, right? Yeah, I know. I hate taking things on my phone. Um, that's another thing. But yeah, so I just wanted to do this quick little introduction. I went to the museum, and then we're gonna talk about my shift in focus, which is gonna be really exciting. It has to do with where I come from. I don't think I even like this backdrop. It's not even cute. Oh well. That's okay. Uh... Yeah, but first I need to eat, and then I have to take a meeting call, and then I have to do an unboxing, because I accidentally unboxed two of the books before. Before I realized that I wanted to do this video anyways. But then the third book just came, so we're going to do a little unboxing, I guess, of the books that I bought for my shift which I'll explain later, but anyways, yeah. So, I'm freaking hungry. Let me just go eat and do my things real quick, and then I'll be back, and then we'll talk about what this week's video is gonna be. Okay, thanks, bye! Okay, we're gonna change up the background a little bit. It's still messy. I'm not gonna be one of those people who are gonna like clean up the entire thing before I record because I think that's unrealistic. I'm a very organized chaos kind of person, so. Oh, okay, excuse me. I just um, really quickly scarfed down my food because now I have about 15-ish minutes to make this video and then the rest will just be like, what is it called? A like b-roll or something? Like, it'll be what the museum clips and all that other stuff. But okay, so where do we start off? Oh, I guess... Yeah, yeah this is unscripted by the way too. Like, I did not have time to come up with a script. What happened to my plant? Oh my gosh. Look, I was just like looking at it and did I do that? Oh no. I might have done that. Oopsies. But look at this side note. This giant ZZ leaf is just aiming for the sun over there. Got my nice like little rubber plant over there too. But anyways, like I said, I don't have that much time. So, are we back where I placed you originally? Maybe, kinda. Right here now I'm dark hello can we get brighter okay uh, so yeah uh, actually you know what let's let's call this video starting over in my 30s yeah let's do that I like that I was eating and I thought about that but let's just call this um, video the theme of it is gonna be starting over in my 30s because 
there's been a lot going on I don't think I even did a introduction on who I am which was probably another thing that I was gonna add into this video which I only have 15 minutes to do but you know what we'll just do a brief one cuz I'm pretty sure no one still watches my videos yet so I can do like a proper introduction like later down the road but I think for those of you like the one or two people who watch this video uh, probably want to know who I am so my name is Alex, um, it is spelled A-L-E-K-K-Z as in zebra. It is, why is that thing blinking? Okay, whatever. Uh, not the traditional A-L-E-X. My bun is gonna be crooked for the rest of my life, but that's okay. And then my forehead is, okay, okay, okay focus, focus. Okay, we're gonna focus. Um, okay, so yes, my name is Alex. No, I was not born with that name. I was born with a Korean name. I was born in Korea. I came at 18 months old with my family. We immigrated here to the States, AKA basically I grew up in Tacoma and now I'm like in the greater Seattle area. But for the most of my life, I've been in Washington. Uh, I have other various adventures that I'll, I can talk about like another time. But yeah, so I am what you call Korean American. I don't want to go into the whole story of like how I didn't feel like I didn't belong and whatnot. There's um, a lot of conversations that happen among people who are like immigrants here where it's like if they go to Korea, they don't feel Korean enough. But then if they live in America, they don't feel American enough. That's like a whole like other thing that goes on. But I kind of have my own story on that as well. But with this theme of the video being starting over in my 30s, I quit my job about a month ago and my background is working in restaurant industry for the last like 12 years, give or take. I've done a lot of odd end jobs in between that as well. But the reoccurring theme was I was like a server um, starting off after high school and that led to another serving job when I moved to California to go to school to pay my tuition and everything and then one thing led to another and here we are I'm fuck okay I was gonna swear but maybe I shouldn't but let's just say <laughs> I'm 32 years old almost 33 technically because my birthday is really early in January like the second day of January so I'm almost 33 almost 33 uh, I told myself I've tried to retire from the restaurant industry many many times and I keep somehow ending up going back uh, I had to quit a little bit sooner than expected at my last job um, due to unforeseen circumstances I tend to keep things vague now because there was this one time where I did not private my work area it, it, it was like a whole nother thing i actually have a hidden youtube video that i posted that got some like like major tea i maybe will post it one day but not right now uh yeah and so i uh, was very fortunate to be ha uh, very fortunate to have been offered a project that i did sign an nda so i can't talk about it but uh, it's a project that like was supposed to help me cover at least one month of expenses so when i quit the restaurant job that was able to cover the rest of september kind of uh the rest of september plus all my savings that i am very reckless and i don't have a healthy savings account so whatever i had left i like had to scrape pennies and so that covered september and then so this project that I'm working on is gonna supposed to cover October and then I will have to go catch some fish for next month and then the month after and hopefully I don't end up giving up and like finding another job after this but the whole purpose and goal of me restarting like after or restarting in my 30s is I'm officially going to be doing freelance design. Yay, I know. Uh, if you know me, you know that I'm very, very indecisive and I will literally know what I wanna do with my life. Maybe like at one point. And then like a few months later, I'm, I'm like frantically like, oh my God, I don't know what I wanna do with my life. Like, what am I doing? That's me every day, honestly. Like, I this is why I journal. I journal, but then my handwriting is so not legible that I forget what I wrote and I tend to not look back on it but yeah I'm kind of going through the I don't know what I want to do with my life I thought I knew but I don't know and then I was like I don't know and then like there's also the whole like self-doubt of not thinking I'm good enough 
to do what I do and like ironically though there have been a handful of people who have trusted me to create projects for them which should indicate that I am worthy right but in my head I'm not worthy regardless of how much I get paid and each time I take on a project it's more and more and more and I'm like hello like you could do this as a living if you like get your shit together but I don't anyways okay so I need to check what time it is okay, it's 12 41 okay so yeah long story short I am going to pursue freelance design officially officially I've done this a couple times already but officially officially and this is the first time I'm doing it publicly so hold me accountable um I apparently oh the funny thing is I bought like a bunch of courses on Udemy I'm not sponsored by the way uh, apparently I bought it in 2022 that was almost two and a half three years ago maybe no it said I bought it in November 2022 so yeah almost two years ago I bought like a shit ton of courses on freelance graphic design like um, I'm ashamed to say that I have not mastered Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator yet because I've just been avoiding it for so many years. I wish I took it. I wish I learned it way back when, but I didn't. And it, like trying to learn it now, like at least once or twice a year, every year, I try to relearn it, but it's so overwhelming. I know there's like all these videos on YouTube that you can watch, but I feel like, I don't know, it's just overwhelming. And so I have these courses. I actually looked on Udemy a couple days ago to buy courses. And it tells me, you bought this in November 2022. And I'm like, oh, thanks, old me. Because I actually don't have money to buy those courses anyway. So the old me bought it for the future me who she knew that I was going to have money maybe. I don't know. But okay, so yeah, so I have all these courses. Um, I took a couple courses already on... See, look, I'm, I have the courses and I'm procrastinating by watching other courses that have nothing in relation to Photoshop and Illustrator, which technically, not really. Uh, I did watch like a freelance design video thing. They're all from the same person. Her name is Lindsay Marsh. I actually really like her videos. I've seen two so far. Apparently, I bought like six of her courses and I didn't even know I did. But again, that was in like old me, November 2022. Thanks. Um, yeah, so now... There is this, oh shoot, it was like 30 or 30 or 40 hour course. That's the, like the master fundamentals of Adobe Suite or whatever, whatever. So I'm very intimidated, but I will get started on that later today. No, 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 no just kidding. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting hot because I'm like, there's a time crunch and I'm wearing this. I'm wearing my husband's like big old green jacket. Uh... I'm so sorry. This is this this is just me, un unfiltered, you know, like unedited. Like I don't even feel like cutting any of this out because I feel like this is me and my personality. So either you take it or you don't. I don't, I don't know. Um, okay, so back on track. Back on track. Come on, Alex. Uh, <coughs> um, what was I to say? <laughs> The pressure is real right now. Okay, so yes, I am pursuing freelance design. Uh, my main way of getting clients is usually word of mouth. Like, I'm not the one who even asks for, like, jobs or anything. It's like, people are like, hey, don't you do art stuff? And I'm like, yeah. It's like, can you make a logo for me? Can you make um, a website for me? And I'm like, yeah. And, then, <laughs> and so that's just kind of how it starts. Like they just know that I like a lot of people like to call me their one-stop shop designer, whatever. And then so that gave me the idea. Like, yesterday I wrote it down because I'm gonna forget, right? It's like what if I became what if my like tagline was something along the lines of like kind of like your personal shopper, but I'm like your personal designer. Because I don't think I'm going to look for clients outside of Seattle. If they approach me, I won't say no. But I personally would like to meet people face to face. And like, I'm a very people person. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I just need to start like advertising myself. I guess marketing myself. But guess what? In order to market myself, I need a portfolio. And guess who got away all this time without a proper portfolio? this girl because like I told you people just come up to me and they're like hey can you do this for me and I'm like 
Sure. So they just trust me as a person, and I'm very thankful for all of you who trusted me without seeing my actual work. Uh, but now I actually really, really need to make a portfolio. And so today I'm going to work on building a portfolio thanks to the course on Udemy from Lindsay Marsh. She goes step by step on how to build a portfolio on multiple different platforms, which again, not sponsored, but I just love her course. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna build a portfolio. Okay, so I'm gonna. <laughs> let's, let's do my little steps again, real quick. So I'm going to build. No, I'm gonna go pursue freelance design. I need to build a portfolio and then I need to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop and maybe InDesign and yeah I don't know all those all those things I'm gonna have to learn how to use that too and then maybe Figma down the road too so those are like the softwares that I need to learn and then uh, okay this time is getting close so I'm gonna do my little Unveiling thingy my bobby. Hold on, I can blow my nose. These are my usual allergies. Okay, so I am uh, okay, like a 20 second backwards rewind. I can't even think of the word. Rewind real quick. Um, originally I thought I was gonna go the illustrator route. Like I really wanted to create cute designs and I wanted to like make it all like cutesy I have an Etsy shop that sells stickers um, it's a very like sporadic random in the moment designs that I like come up with in the middle of the night and then I'll like post it on Etsy but that's what I call snack money like I don't make enough to make a living I feel like I have to pursue freelance design in order to pay for my living expenses and then like anything that I draw or create or whatever will be like just for fun right so I'll do design as a profession and then illustrating and whatever character design or whatever on the side as a hobby and then I like have been struggling with inspiration and like whatever's and so i was like okay let me let me let me think let me brainstorm let me think about like all the things that i want to do right and then so i actually uh came up with the idea actually i didn't come up with it it's just like in my jeans literally but i was like what if i go korean like all things korea because i'm just looking at the time right now it's 12 48 um the thing is i feel like what was I gonna say? When you think of Korea, what do you think of? Korean food, K-pop, like maybe the Korean traditional dress like the hanbok but it's like there has to be more to Korean culture and so that's where I was like okay you know like every time I like google like Korean stuff like literally that's all it comes up with like food or K-pop and I'm like I love food don't get me wrong but what the heck am I gonna do with Korean food? Like, what, am I gonna just draw Korean food for the rest of my life? And I was like, what? Like, am I gonna draw hanbok? Like, what am I gonna do with hanbok? It's just like, it's like clothes, right? And so I was like, I don't know, I need more. And so basically what I did is I went online to look for some books that would inspire me. This is one of them. A Journey in Search... Wait. A Journey in Search of Korea's Beauty. And I didn't know, I didn't remember who Paeyong... Pae, Paeyong Jun is. I <laughs> I know actors if I see their faces, but I don't know their names. Like I watched a lot of Korean dramas growing up. And then, so then I had to Google what he looked like. And I was like, oh yeah, that's him. That's a side profile. I don't know if you can see him. You can just Google him if you want. But basically, I got this book and I'm so excited to get into it. Like, very excited. And then I got this one yesterday, I actually opened it, but Guide to Korean Culture. And there was a lot of books, honestly, that was not written by Korean people. Nothing against them. But I just felt like if I'm gonna do this whole deep dive and research Korean culture and stuff, like I would much prefer that it be like Korean authors. Uh, but yeah, no, there was a couple thing, couple books that I was very tempted to get, but again, they were not native Korean people creating the books. So this one's this culture, and then this is like a person's perspective on the book. Or, person's perspective of Korea right and then I have this one which just came into day oh my god am I even gonna have time I can't I can't open this let me borrow my scissors for a second okay that didn't even watch me like accidentally Is 
should make it like a silent chain somewhere. I think it's a little too big for that. But okay, so what's that? This one I'm excited. Korean stories for language learners. It's like it has these stories in Korean and in English. And like I think this is really cool because I get to learn about Korean like folklore and like stories and things like that. I'm a little sad that this book is I don't know if you can see it, but it's like very messed up. But that's okay. I tend to, side note, tend to buy books that are used if I can if it's cheaper or for two purposes if it's cheaper and then to like just be more sustainable or like whatever like you know like um save paper save trees yeah i like to save trees but i think this is gonna be really cool so look at this cute little cow where'd it go okay i don't know where the cute little cow went oh, i found it like isn't it cute like i want to be able to draw something like this this is cute but yeah so basically these three books are supposed to give me some like inspiration for Korean culture. Um, yeah, by eight minutes. <laughs> so basically, let me. This is for me too. Like when I watch back this video and I like try to think about what I want to do. So let's recount what I was trying to do again. So one is pursuing freelance design full time, and I need to find clients. And then two, I need to create a portfolio. Three, software. I gotta, oh, I, I remember that one. Three is learn the software. And then four is to just deep dive into Korean culture and research. And that's kind of why that I went to the museum today, which the first Thursday of the month is free, by the way. I was willing to pay, but my friend reminded me the first Thursday is free. So I was like, why not? And so I got to go for free. I got a lot of pictures. I tried to make some videos. Um, I took them all this way so it would be easier on YouTube to watch. And yeah, so I think that's the rest of me ranting on. The rest of the video should be just kind of the museum, things that I saw. Maybe I'll like caption certain things, what I thought without like a voiceover because I think this is going to be the end of me talking. Did I forget anything? What was the title of the video gonna be again? Starting over my 30s. Yeah. I saw a video, I saw a reel yesterday night and like the caption was something about like starting art in their 30s or something like that or whatever. I was like, that's a good title. Like I am technically trying to reinvent myself to and whatnot and for the sake of timing right now I'm not gonna like go into my history and my thoughts because I talk a lot as you can tell um, yeah so we can talk about that in another video video but I don't know what category this is gonna be in but we'll figure that out later too I really should go now I yeah um, is that all I was gonna say I think so. Like I said, nobody probably watches these videos in the beginning until I'm more famous. And so, I'm just gonna rant. I'm just gonna be real. I'm just gonna tell you things that are on my mind and you know. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs>
Totoro video. Totoro sketchbook. I forgot to mention. I got it at the museum. Um, there was also a... Oh my gosh. Do not... Do not blame me for this, but I forgot. Hayao! Hayao Miyazaki. Right? That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, there was a book on him that had like a lot of his art stuff that I really wanted. Uh, but it was like 55 bucks, so I found it on Amazon for 31 bucks. And yeah, so Studio Studio Ghibli is another inspiration of mine that I want to get into eventually. But this thing was freaking expensive and it's so cute. I don't know when I'm ever going to touch it, but yeah. Okay, now I've really got three minutes left. Gotta go!